uh, content um waiting for their approval because they have to talk you know that side you have to talk to 50 people before mm. it it gets approved but i'm hoping that i'll be able to interview the producer mm. so we can get the background of how does two years of investigation look like because I thought that would be an interesting one. So people can tell us down in the comment section what do they think, mm -hmm. would, uh, and then we can just send the link so they can see the the interest in the subject matter. So that's the things that I'm I'm interested in and in interviewing the producer about. But do you yourself do you believe in this expose? Uh, I believe that there is, you know, in the documentary. I know I I used to see three of those ladies. Bisola, I knew her after she came out. Yeah, Bisola has been out there for too it's long. She's been yeah. out there for too long. As a matter of fact, when I started doing apologetics, she was the first person I saw. Mm. Her video and Paula Guomo was, was one of the first ones. Yeah, the Miracle Producer. Mm. Uh, but because Bisola was in the background, she didn't do presentation. She used to do voiceovers, yes, mm. on certain videos. Uh, but the lady with the uh, br uh, brown hair and the, the South African lady those people, yes, I definitely used to see them in the videos, mm. you know, which is, which is kind of sad. This is the aspect when you ask me, do I believe it? This is the aspect of it that's sad for me is that when the church comes out, they say, no, these people were not associated with the church. So question, what were we seeing? We saw them in the video. And the church said they were not part of the church. Yeah, they released ah, a yes? statement and they said, no, these people are never associated. Oh, okay. And so that it, it, it's kind of that like. All right, family. Now I have a reality channel. Is it reality church? Reality, yes. Church reality. Yes. Yeah, it's a YouTuber in South Africa. Uh, he came straight to my studio. Now uh, we are going to team up. Yeah. And then work together because sometimes I will be picking some of your videos. You also can upload some of my videos. We mm. can have interactions, mm. conversations, bring people on board. Have a all hot the interviews. We yes, are yes, shooting yes. them down here at Equanaba Studios. Because they, they pretty much decked out. So yeah, yeah. thank you very much. The studio much. belongs to you. Everybody that wants you to be, just contact Church Reality or contact me direct. Come, let's talk. Let's talk. That's it. If you, yeah. Only if you're in South Africa. <laughs> you can come to the studio to yeah. have a, a, a better discussion. Yeah. Uh, there's this video trending on social media concerning TB Jusho. I've seen you interview one lady. Yeah. And then I had a bad news on my page. Uh, they posted a lady and then the, the, the daughter that... Mm. Uh, she the passed away pastor, like yeah. this. Uh, I saw your reactions to on mm. your page. Mm. Uh, how is the lady? Um, I'm talking. I was talking to the one of the people that are actually going there. Uh, you know, it's grief. I mean, like mm. eleven years raising a child, and then uh, the child just goes like that. It's just not. So do, not do you think uh, it's because he she was? Uh, uh, she came to speak about TB Joshua that got, I mean, the child uh, I mean, in this situation. That's, that's, um, that would be the first instinct mm. be, uh, based on like you, when you, when people are talking about spiritual power, spiritual okay. power and all the things that they were saying in the documentary, mm -hmm. that's the first thing that comes to your mind to say, is this connected to that or, or what not? But for me, it's a coincidence. Yeah. For me, I would, I would rather the parents mourn the way that, you know, whatever, however they want to mourn it right now. And you, you don't want to be dragging them about conspiracies and all these other yeah. ideas and stuff like that. But at the moment, for me, it's just, it's just unreal. Mm -hmm. You know, you're talking to someone today, they're happy. And you know what? I, I haven't actually had time to go there because another person I know died just after from the same situation or no, ah, this is a different issue this is a different thing this is a person that i've known for years and uh they also died just about the same mm. they went to bed um they were fine she said she was feeling cold she went to lie down they found her cold okay so it can be it has nothing to do with tv yeah that, that's that's where you, do you see where my my mm. thought is going from is that i have someone right now who died almost at the same time with that child about a day, but this one was yesterday. But that, that lady you interviewed, uh, she was talking about TB Joshua. She, she was a church member, right? Yeah, she started from she started from uh, one of the spiritual sons. Let me not say mm. who. And then that spiritual son then introduced her to the boss, to the to the big man. Mm. And then eventually they traveled there, 
And I don't know what exactly she was serving as when they were in South Africa. But I know that after they went that side, she was doing chorister work and whatnot. And then when she traveled, they said, okay, hey, stay. The prophet said, stay. She stayed. And that's how uh, the thing. The unfortunately is that uh, the unfortunate part about her story particularly is that there is a lot of stories that people know about her mm. that people like to use those other th- stories to discredit that journey that she walked. Mm. But that's the reality. That's the core of the story that she was under a certain man of God who took her there and then all of those things then happened and then she exited after a while. Oh, okay, so she was also uh, been the the rape case or uh, molesting. Yeah, she was part of it. Yeah, she ah, said yes? in the documentary she mentions that she she used to see people being called. Ah, she, she was she was part of the BBC documentary. Yes. Oh, the her her organization. She is a, she has a foundation called Kwanele Foundation. Mm. K W A N E L E Foundation. Oh, and she's the one with the big eyes. Yes, oh, yes, okay, yes, okay. yes, that lady. So she, her organization recommended me to the BBC. Mm. So when the BBC wanted people, someone to do local PR content and stuff like that, they recommended me. That's how the content ended up me doing interviews. With her. Yeah, with her. I'm still at the moment suggesting certain uh, content um waiting for their approval because they have to talk you know that side you have to talk to 50 people before mm. it, it gets approved but i'm hoping that i'll be able to interview the producer mm. so we can get the background of how does two years of investigation look like because i thought that would be an interesting one so people can tell us down in the comment section what do they think it mm. would, uh, and then we can just send the link so they can see the the interest in the subject matter. So that's the things that I'm I'm interested in and interviewing the producer about. But do you yourself do you believe in this expose? Uh, I believe that there is, you know, in the documentary. I know I I used to see three of those ladies. Bisola, I knew her after she came out. Yeah, Bisola has been out there for too She's long. She's been yeah. out there for too long. As a matter of fact, when I started doing apologetics, she was the first person I saw. Mm. Her video and Paula Guomo was, was one of the first ones. Yeah, the Miracle Producer. Mm. Uh, but because Bisola was in the background, she didn't do presentations. She used to do voiceovers, yes, mm. on certain videos. Uh, but the lady with the uh, b- uh, brown hair and the, the South African lady those people yes i definitely used to see them in the videos mm. you know which is which is kind of sad this is the aspect when you ask me do i believe it this is the aspect of it that's sad for me is that when the church comes out they say no these people were not associated with the church so question what were we seeing we saw them in the video and the church said they were not part of the church yeah they released ah, a yes? statement and they said no, these people are never associated oh okay and so that it, it, it's kind of that like make it real yeah mm. you see that that's that's when you now have questions even if you didn't believe it you're like okay what's going on mm-hmm. why is it that you want to dismiss it that much and also if you come out remember i think sometimes people which is why platforms like me and mine and yours are so important because we remember these days you know people have jobs they have nine to five they go they have kids so they forget the stories, as we don't forget. No, no, it's always on a hard drive. It's, yeah. always, it's always on the hard drive. Isn't it? <laughs> but wait a minute. When the big man died, mm-hmm. there was a whole narrative of the disciples being kicked out. Okay. Then there was accusations. So people forget these things. They forget how did the disciples get out, out. of the church. People were arrested. People were being said to have been held. And before you knew it, the disciples were being sent on one-way trips. Mm. Then there was a video of the big man's wife coming out and saying, you know what? She didn't like them. Mm, okay. Straight when she was in front of everybody. She said it right straight. She said she was there gossiping the disciples. Mm-hmm. She didn't want them to preach. And she went to Tim Joshua and said, hey, why are you going to let these boys take over your pulpit? They'll take over, you know, mm-hmm. that type of... so." We remember what the what happened separation okay. was like. The transpiration, okay. Now, when all of them come out and they say, "No, there's nothing wrong. Everything was good." Come on, guys. Let, let's stop playing games here. 
you guys were kicked out mm -hmm. some people were if there was even a point where they were submitted to the fcc because there was supposedly a story that they were trying to sell the jet of the man of god mm. where did those stories come from you know and all of a sudden all gone yeah and so all of a sudden there, there was this fight there was this war that was there and then when you come out when they talk about the abuses you come out and you say no there was nothing like that i remember chris wise man chris when he came out he said when he was there there was no such a thing he saw the fruits of the spirit like when about you are human there is time when you might be annoyed with me you know i said i was gonna come i took two hours yeah. to get <laughs> to get here it might become annoying it's human to to find annoyances or be annoyed of one thing or the other thing you you telling me you stayed there for 15 years and nothing annoyed you <laughs> so it's things like that where it's an unrealistic uh, picture that people have been given now the thing that so for me it makes me believe it okay okay but then it does something else as well after making me believe it it makes me then question why are they speaking positive about tv about tv mm -hmm. why do they want to say you know, he was a man of god powerful why do they want to keep that image you have to realize that tv joshua is a big brand and tv joshua's version it's not true it's not the true version of christianity tv joshua's version of christianity has been accepted by many people because of african spiritual Af african um superstitions what was his way of uh, christianity deliverance mm, okay fake deliverance or fake uh, uh, distant deliver i call it distant deliverance because it's not the one that the bible talks about mm. in the bible the bible talks about deliverance in the same aha ayo kona ba television ubeti ma visit your website www.kwanabatv.com all the social media handles ni nyina eye kona ba tv wo video bi eye interesting a pese di ho komo a number ni go screen so no ubeti media fa so whatsapp number ni aka e ho asem wo pese eye interview so a number na na wo so no free ne fa topic na pese e discuss no en so fa kan e ho e be eye interview kama kama ni mo mo kwa kai so be subscribe to channel no no mi adoma no so for notification yen ko he video ni mra of we being taken from the kingdom of satan and being born again to the kingdom of the messiah okay that's what the bible means when it says deliverance is that you have passed from death unto life but the version of tv joshua you see people who are supposedly christian being delivered from demons okay so it means they were not christians yeah it brings up questions because first of all when a person becomes born again the holy spirit indwells them mm. this okay. is the house of god now okay it's now it becomes his temple mm -hmm. he is responsible for the temple yes you must still manage your life in line with him but it can you is, pause here and then uh, let's finish with the, the the lady you interviewed yes um on our discussion you, i quite remember you mentioned on your reaction to yeah. that death the, the death of the daughter mm. that um it can be spiritual connected to tb joshua because he has in co connection with the lady yeah you know you, you remember what i remember that point where she mm -hmm. said that she uh when she went to get married mm -hmm. the husband died after four months okay so marriage. so it means it means if you have connection or if you have in, uh, uh, something to do with a prophet or some i don't know that yes. means the person can have direct access, access to you yes mm -hmm. uh, particularly the, this in this situation where there was intercourse that's been spoken about okay in okay. a ritual state then the case closed yeah it's case closed you you done then, with because then case closed <laughs> because the so the the first husband died then she went later on she got married to another man mm -hmm. and the second man died as well case closed they have a serious intercourse spiritual whatever that's their own problem to fix okay yeah. that one then i understand yeah. do you see do you see so if 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 a person was to question so some people some people dismiss because they they can't deal with what that would mean mm -hmm. you know we were just talking to uh chakuraja right <laughs> yeah before, yeah before yeah you know and you talked about the fact that in in your interview he speaks about jesus being powerful and mm -hmm. the law being a heavy aspect of of thing that he can't keep up with the the rules are just we we will come, we will use as a greater topic 
uh, in the next in, in the, the next, next episode. episode. Yeah. So let's finish with this one so that we can we can get the whole clue here. Yeah. So now the TB Joshua, the guys who were kicked out, they came back. And then they started saying he's a powerful man of God, blah, 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 blah. Mm. And they were saying T.B. Joshua's way of Christianity is different from what you were saying mm. because of the deliverance. Yes. Because when you talk about deliverance in Christianity, it's being different. Okay, different issue. Okay. Yeah. So being it that when you are born again, the Holy Spirit indwells you. Mm-hmm. The Bible says you are the temple. Uh, you are the temple of, of God, so you may put it. So it's not possible. Not that it may be my. Uh-uh. It's not possible for you to be possessed by a spirit. Okay, because said darkness and light has nothing in they common. Mix. Okay. And remember, uh, darkness cannot comprehend it. That's what the verse literally mm-hmm. says. And so, as a result of that, or by that truth, or by the basis of that truth, that Holy Spirit is now indwell. And remember, there's a reason why the Holy Spirit indwells the believer. It's because. He is a seal. You know, when the king used to sign a thing, mm-hmm. he, he put a, a seal, seal on it mm-hmm. to, to authenticate the letter. The Holy Spirit's indwelling is the seal of your salvation. So if a person is so born... So then it means there's no Christian, as, as you just said. <laughs> no, there is a Christian. <laughs> because, because all these people went there for deliverance, blah, 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 blah. And then you are saying they need the Holy Spirit in them. To dwell in them. So it means they are not Christians. What you're seeing there, it's either manipulation or it's a foreign spirit. There is mm. something called Kundalini okay. that people don't understand. Kundalini. 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 Okay. Yeah. And Kundalini, it's a Hindu spirit. Mm-hmm. You can research it and stuff like that. So they can raise that spirit. They can raise it from your chakras and whatnot. It's not something that the Bible advises us. Because they remember, the Bible says, gird up the loins of your mind, meaning guard them. Be in God. It doesn't tell you to just open yourself for whatever is going to come. But then in Kundalini, you have to open mm. yourself. It's kind of like yoga practice. You need to avail yourself. Yeah, avail yourself. And whatever enters will enter. So in Kundalini, the spirit can mimic the Christian experience. Mm, okay. And so that's what people are dealing with. But then also, we have to remember that these people, to authenticate themselves, they need signs. They need wonders. They need things to happen so that they can authenticate whatever they are practicing. You know? Uh, uh, then it's very dangerous for, uh, for a pastor or a prophet to touch your forehead, you know? Extremely. That's why even the Bible warns you, do not allow someone to touch your head too quickly. Mm. Like for instance, me, I'll give you an example, me particularly. I have not had a head on my head since 2011. Mm, what happened? The last hand that was laid on my hand head was 2011, and by that time I was still under my 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 mentor when I was in Bible school. Mm, okay. And so ever since then, I'm extremely careful about who touches your head. Yeah. For me, nobody touches my head. Exactly. Never. Because a man's this is a man's authority. Yeah. You know. And so that's the first thing that tells you that the ministry of people like TV Joshua it's very foreign. Mm, I see. It's foreign. When you see people rolling on the ground, uh, echo number. Some, some, vomit. some, some, some even uh, bark like a dog. Wow, wow, wow. They vomit. They even have trays. They are prepared. They have trays in their churches or buckets so that people can vomit. Mm. So your church, you've accepted that your church is full of filth. Mm. The Holy Spirit and filth. You're putting the two of them in the same place. So this is why you, this is where you see, and people like those things. You know, they like spectacles. They like. Thingy. I find no. I find no. People interest. even travel from Canada, US, Germany to Israel, uh, to uh, Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. For, to experience mm-hmm. that stuff, and so that shows you that people have accepted the TB Joshua version of Christianity, which is not highlighted. So Bible. if this is the case, then where where lies this um, Bible verse that says, uh, "Seek ye the kingdom and its righteousness first, and the rest shall be added unto you." Then why are you seeking the rest? You've not seek the kingdom and the righteousness, mm-hmm. but you want the rest to be added unto you. <laughs> you understand? Yeah, that's that's actually a re- that's actually a very interesting one because the fact that you have to seek it, it tells you that it's very easy to miss it mm-hmm. because you might find something, but make sure you have sought particularly the kingdom. Mm-hmm. I'll give you an example of what the depth of that particular verse when you say seek ye the kingdom and all things shall be added. 
sometimes people think about the all things shall be added mm-hmm. you know because we have an interest to succeed to be do to do well financially and so forth so we think all things shall be added we think that but what does it mean to seek ye the kingdom if you read the old testament you can conclude that god is very difficult to to understand yeah but then when you read the full context of what the bible actually lays out it can tell you that you either misunderstood or you are misunderstanding the standard that god has put forward and so that's the seeking aspect is that if you read one thing you might miss miss interpret it to say no this is difficult i have no business with this but then if you read the full context you are able to get no i can this is actually doable god mm-hmm. made it doable that's why the bible says when jesus died on the cross he nailed the law that was against us so there was a law that was put there that you could not meet and so that's the aspect of seeking because you can end up putting your own rules so that it it ends up fitting what you want which is what the tv joshua's have done the aflukaos and what not and all these people they have created their own version that they can fit in hello ebusian for so we pass fit as right show do for there and they na fa ho kwadom unique laser whitening unique laser whitening e wo two pieces from kwa so we did twitch we see e ma we see na eye fit ah na eye fit ah no no na e yi en carbon bi e wo no mo bia any tea stains coffee stains smoking stains bi e wo wo no mo bia unique laser whitening product e be yi ni nyina free so ma kama kama de o hia ne se o betu so na o de egu o brush ne so o wi a na o de twitch we see ne so nyina kama o wi a and we were no gen we no musa into contact unique laser whitening i was 0799972330 0799972330 unique laser whitening or say muni ses mm i see yeah. so people are just asking uh, of evidence of all the allegations uh, labeled against tv joshua mm. concerning the bbc uh, expose mm. And I am like, okay, if you want evidence of rape, how do you get it? How do you get Ev- it? Evidence of manipulation, how do you get this one? Mm-hmm. Evidence of um, torture, how do you get I, I don't know, but they are asking of evidence. I don't know. Is it possible? Let's take the videos. I like what happens on social media when people accept brainwash to be the way that they think. We are talking about educated people like Wanaba. Yeah. People that went to school, they studied a doctor's degree, they have seven years in school and he, this person is failing to think. The question of why are they releasing this now? What, what that's the most yeah, very yeah, popular yeah, yeah. question. Yeah, yeah, why are they releasing the man is dead. If you are thinking like that, it tells you how unjust you are. I've said that on the on my episode I'll say it again. Why? Right now, because now if you run away with my money and I find you in 5 years, I can go to the police and say, "Police, I found the person who stole my money." Crime has no expiring date. Yes. And mm-hmm. so, as a result of that, that tells you you have no perspective of justice. You are a wrong person to be asking me about what is right and what is wrong. Because first of all, you have a wrong perspective of when should it apply. If these people are saying they thought they would never tell the story they sh- that the, the 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 young lady that starts the the trailer she says she th- i i had concluded i'm going to die with it i'm going to go to the grave with it the girl that recorded herself going to confront them there is your evidence ask them ask scorn what was the confrontation about because in the video in front of them she says to be you are slept with me outside of my approval Mm. And so and immediately after that she had to run away. Why was she running away? And remember, she had concluded. These are the people that had concluded they would never tell this story. So she kept that video for all these years. Evidence. You have evidence that she could capture. Evidence. And remember they say they seized their phones. What evidence are you expecting pictures? You expect them to be taking pictures if they beat you nicely. If they beat you nicely and you know very well that punishment is ahead of me will you take the risk of taking a picture then you have the mind to do that yeah wow so sometimes when people uh when you think that's why the bible says when you think you are stand watch because that's when you become vulnerable for the enemy there is a woman who has uh art mm-hmm. you know youtube doesn't like these words 
So she was uh, in this other church and we went to CRL and she was testifying. This woman was part of the intelligence in South Africa. She's kind of like an FBI. She worked in something wow. like an FBI. And she says, because of my educational background, I had concluded there's no trick. I don't know. She knew body language. She knows how to do what. She knows all these tricks. She had concluded because of how smart she was that she can deal with spiritual things from a mental thing. The man crossed it because he shook her hand with oil in his hand. Boom, she fell. He says, when I woke up, he was on top. Wow. So that's when she realized I leaned on myself too much. So sometimes people are asking, that's why they were silent for all these years. That's why they, because they knew how you think. <laughs> they mm -hmm. knew that you were going to ask them for things that they can't. So the whole BBC expose is like um, trying to draw people's attention to what's happening in the religious Inside. bodies yeah. so that you can be aware of what you are going to offer yourself to into. Yeah. Okay. And also reminding people, when you are funding these organizations, be careful. What organization are you funding? Guys, let's be honest here. You know, I have the freedom of just coming and getting out of my studio and coming down here and we walk out, buy food and do what. It, you know, someone is telling you that they were the five-story boys upstairs and they didn't leave his side 24-7. Does that sound normal? Normal. Mm -hmm. you, you, would you, you are just sitting here. If he doesn't move, you don't move. I have, free, I have freedom. I have freedom I of movement. Yeah. yeah. I think they call it autonomous. What God has given you the, the ability to explore. He has given you an individual life. The only cord that you are supposed to have is when you are in your mother's womb. Mm -hmm. I'm not tied to Tim Joshua. I'm not tied to any pastor. So, when you are funding these churches, when you are giving your money, this documentary was to highlight. Be On careful that, yeah. what you are funding because you are funding predators. You are funding beasts that are doing all this. The smiles. You're seeing smiles and you think smile. But I've seen a lot of Christian pastors saying this is an attack on the Christian dome. This is an attack on Christianity. This is an attack on pastors. This is an attack on... Uh, I mean, Christian, whatever. Is it, do you see this as an attack, attack? That pastor, we must ask you, what have you done? Mm -hmm. You see? Because this, this video, there's a name mentioned. Mm -hmm. And this video is directed straight to that name. You are not part of it. So what's your problem? <laughs> well, yeah, why, why, why are you associating? So you see, the people that are saying this is an attack on the church, we need to question that person. What have you done that you want to dismiss this? Yes, because if we are we are we are running after a thief, and you are not a thief, why are you running? Why are you concerned? They say they caught a thief in 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 Joburg. I said, oh, you see, it's an attack on Joburg. That's childish. So you, you so for those ones who are saying that you are you are thinking childish. <laughs> so sometimes we need to tell people so that they can smart up. Some people are really thinking dumb. That's what we call it in South Africa. So, but most of the people that say things like that is because they are trying to escape. Mm -hmm. They want to use this to say, you see, now there was the whole thing of T.D. Jakes. When the T.D. Jakes thing, they say, you see, they went to T.D. Jakes. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, wait, who went to T.D. Jakes? That was TikTok. Yeah. That was not BBC. That was TikTok, yes. Before T.D. Jakes went to, a, I think, a party or something like this. He went to a party and then there was now accusations about him Approaching and men. if you think you are righteous, if you think you TGJs, you are righteous, mm. the Bible says don't invoke yourself with the righteous persons or the righteous oh. people. Why, what did you go to do there? What was he doing there? <laughs> the people that were associated with church, he distanced himself so quickly. When uh, J uh, Juanita Bainer, she's a charlatan, but she's in church, he distanced himself so quickly. When she kept messing up a marriage, doing what not, all those kinds, he distanced himself very quickly. Carlton Pearson, the one who died not long ago, when Carlton Pearson started doing inclusion gospel, saying that everyone is saved, mm -hmm. how quickly did T.D. Jakes distance himself from that thing? So, but now, when there's a subject of Oprah Winfrey and Puff Daddy, people who are clearly not interested in church, mm -hmm. he's willing to take pictures, be there, shaking their hand. He signed. Come on, man. Why are you there? What so, so this expose has nothing to do with T.D. Jakes going to PDD party or whatever. BBC did not even. Uh, this was uh, displayed or it was posted on TikTok. TikTok. It was a different person. It was not. She's not even a journalist. So, so it's a different topic. 
So <laughs> when you say no, you see they started. They started. Who is they? Mm-hmm. So it's people like that who are like Johnson Suleiman. Is there, is there the Johnson Suleiman? We've been talking about Johnson Suleiman for all these cases. A woman comes up, accuses him of what, 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 what? They go silent because we've been talking about these pastors for too long, and then you see there's a Methodist church, Presbyterian church, mm. Roman Catholic church. Mm. These big, big, big churches. Mm. They are always not in the news. When they come into the news, it's like they want to donate or they build this. Mm. And even if there's a problem in that churches, mm. the elders fix it quick and then they, they rub it out. You know, mm. they don't fool around on social media like uh, raising the dead. Mm. You know, mm. they, so it's, 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 they distinguish themselves from mm. these charlatans. Mm. So it's very hard for you to even know that they are having problems in that side. Mm. You understand? So, Methodist, Presby, Anglican, Roman, I am not saying they are, I mean, they are the good ones. Mm-hmm. But it's very hard for you to hear news of these churches. Mm. You understand? Mm. So, this TB, uh, T, uh, TB Joshua issue, mm. I've never heard any Roman Catholic uh, pastor commenting on this, mm. or Methodist, or Anglican, or mm. Roman Catholic. Just the charlatans. <laughs> <laughs> they they are busy. Mm. Switching on their cameras, defending mm. this attack on the church. This are, so why is this attack on the church? Why is Methodist Church quiet? Quiet. Mm. <laughs> why is the Roman Catholic it. Church quiet? Mm. It's an attack on a personality. Somebody who just did something, mm. and the case is labeled straight to T. B. Joshua. Has a name. It is a church <laughs> brand. It is a location. So why are you involving yourself in somebody's problem? That is why uh, we are all in one body. If you have first the nose, you have first the ear. No, 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 no. <laughs> they were talking about something else there. <laughs> you understand? Mm. Anyway, what do you have to say in conclusion to this whole thing about TB Joshua? Um, wrong is wrong. We must, we must, we need people to get used to separate and repent, man. You know, TD Jakes. If he was wrong, he knew what he had done. Mm-hmm. He didn't have to say, he said on his response video, no, you know, if I am wrong, I'll just come out and repent. So why are you not repenting now? Why put the if? So first of all, people need to understand, in the church, you do wrong, fix it. Stop allowing one person to determine what the rest of us believe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Personally, I do not endorse, I don't go to a church where people roll. At my church, people don't roll, people don't vomit that's filth i have no business when you go there to study the bible yes go there study my bible i see where i can serve where i can help and stuff like that and that's when i go to church tomorrow when i go to church i'm going there can i do this oh let me help you that's the kind of a church i go to they don't do all those funny things now if i decide to if i decide that those things are going to define what i believe that's now a personal choice. So your church do they sow seed? Yeah, I don't believe in those things. I mean, your church do, 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 do is your pastor taking no, no, no. seed? He doesn't ah, okay, do that. Okay. He doesn't do those things. He, j- he, is he selling he- oil, anointing oil? No, it's none of those things. But he's taking tight. No, if you want to, if you want to pay your time, it's tithe, not about you wanting to pay. It's about me helping. Maybe I came there to serve. I came there to worship. Yes, you have to pay light bill, water bill. Okay, I just want yeah. to pay light bill. Fine. Yes, but forget about the tight. The tight. <laughs> the topic tight or the t- the title mm. of me paying is to pay tight. Mm. That should be out of it. Mm. I just want to help because I when I come, mm. the place is clean. So let me buy omo. Let me buy powder let me buy this it's fine you went that's there, so the you, kind of a church I yeah so you went you need to fix like mm. you came to this place mm. you sat on my chair mm. you are using air condition bro, bro. Okay. i'm charging man. you are charging there <laughs> you understand the later it's okay bro i just don't want to waste a uh, lot of resources so mm. you just take henry rent mm-hmm. you understand mm. if you were in your house will you pay henry rent there you go you came to take mm. services so we are paying mm. for the services mm-hmm. <laughs> you understand yeah yeah, so this this is what I have to say about this whole thing. Uh, people are just misunderstanding or misunderstanding, uh, taking this thing out of context. Mm. This there is nothing like attack on any church. Mm. No, no one is attacking any church. One person is wrong. One person. <laughs> the sniper is straight on one person. There's no attack on any church. Mm. That is one. Mm. Number two, this spiritual father thing is is even bothering my head. <laughs> What is the Bible quotation to back this one? 
spiritual father. <laughs> you understand? Mm. What is the Bible quotation mm. to back this spiritual father? Mm. So if your spiritual father is TB Joshua, what is the spiritual father for TB Joshua? Yes. TB Joshua's spiritual father is who? Yeah. You understand? Mm. I'm praying through the God of TB Joshua. Mm. You will say, oh, we have the God of Moses, the God of Adam, the God of... So why not the God of TB Joshua? Do you know the God of TB Joshua? Yeah. If you say the God of Ekonaba, do you know the God of Ekonaba? Maybe it's a remote. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you don't have. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Mm. You understand? So people should build their own personal relationship with God. Case mm. close. Done. And then you'll be free from all this manipulation, pain, uh, money, vomiting, mm. barking like a dog. Mm. You know, mm. not respecting even your own husband. Mm. You need to take orders from your, from your pastor, papa, or papa mm. dada. You know, mm. those kind of things. I think it doesn't help. Yeah. So uh, this expose for me, I I love it too much. And those asking for evidence, they are just not thinking straight. They're not thinking. Because if your papa can go to the spiritual world and come and tell me that mm. when I went to spiritual world, God told me where is the evidence. <laughs> and you must believe that. <laughs> yes, yes, and you are believing it. Mm. But you are asking for evidence of rape. <laughs> you, are, you understand? You are asking evidence from rape, evidence from manipulation, evidence from torture. But you are not asking evidence. God, God asks you to tell me the where's the evidence. Mm. Next time when you go, tell your papa to take pictures. And then, Please. And then we need them. <laughs> show it to us. <laughs> we need them. But you know what? Mm -hmm. On on just closing on that point mm -hmm. of uh, there is a video of Bisola that's circulating online where she was asking for forgiveness. Yeah. It yeah. even appears in the thing in yeah. the documentary. There is your evidence of torture. Mm. Why couldn't she why can't I say I'm I'm sorry, City? Mm -hmm. Why do you have to say I'm sorry to a point where she's <gasps> she couldn't even speak on the microphone? She's I think, shouting. I think she spoke two times. She said the first one. She said, "Say it again." Yeah. I, I remember she said two times. How do you break a person? I think people haven't understood. Like when you watch all these videos about Jim Jones, whatnot. How do you break a person? You make them do it over and over. The, the, the Namibian lady. She's made to write something. She's a virgin. Bear in mind. She's made to write. I mean, what, what, what from Namibia? I mean, what, what, what from Namibia? What is that? You are breaking the person down. So that video was proof for you. Why do you need, why did he need, if he's a servant of God, humble as you, you saw him, oh, wonderful, he's speaking, he's smiling. Why did he need her to kneel down and lay down, prostrate herself? Penny for se bibi wi asinti ne da ne atopno na ne pa boni fonti e wo se mo bombo hu hia na ne papa mu die pro technologies ana me kan fa ma wo ane pro technologies we are specialized in both sales and installation of cctv cameras yes on esa install cctv cameras in the sour gun and nasa brochure now if you are gone now person a cctv camera installation we need pro technologies and in sour so we cctv camera installation electric fence automated gate access control video doorbell and our intercom and our satellite tv home theater so we pay biato and our to and our person be install them out pro technologies and our self fry in the so see Fidia ni name from America but you and this and papa na pedia me nwene ho na ne bo so daft form me say you know the web but you memo ha any a branch e wo Ghana ye ni mo bra wo bre into sika fire ensem se fa ni agapade ma wo Ghana wo da da na ni e tene se ye say general construction so web but you na peso si fi o Ghana e dan plan bi o peso si se wa sha su da da na afi na peso si plan bi a ye be si am e no e ti so ye solar power and na bamba ho sensem bi ade wo ni ye ni sa wo so ni e san su Smart home, a pair from video be a person to share a wolf here, and now a chubum or the mawo, only an insult. We are just a call away near Sansu or the Mahai, and now Fabro Trebed Rugana. Now open full house, room, and now apartments are high for short term and now long term. You be more beyond the border for now Bamba Hons and Gay, Mangan, and now you're in Syrian decoration. So as if you're in a year, and now you're still feeling a mouth.
town no yes say decoration e be see see odi ana office so e dia ma no agi so ton fi dia bi na wo ho ko e fa so install and na ni settings ye be ye e dia ma e wo gana wo be hu ye wo mira ofra denta e di wadi a che dodo wa wo be hu ye e wo ashi ye ni emalin pharmacy and what the same building for information or whatsapp 401 75703000 and a plus 401 6992254 pro technologies we have the solutions for your security and home entertainment needs at affordable prices.